I think I went a little crazy with my resin project this week. I've got a confession to make. Sometimes I get so bored. I just wanna try something new and different and just sit down and play and not worry about the end result. And so that's what I did this week. I decided to try something fun and funky and new, and I was inspired by watching Sue Finley and Jules Madison's YouTube channels. I will be sure to link them below. And I've created these fun seascape-inspired resin sculptures. And I also found out that my lowly Buffy craft mat came in handy for a whole lot more than just pouring resin. I actually use them to mold and shape these. So if you wanna come along and watch how I've created these funky, fun, sparkly resin sculptures, then let's get started. Before we get started, I wanted to let you know how to find the supplies in my YouTube channel because I get asked a lot, where do I find the supplies list? So if you're on a phone or on a computer, you can usually find it by either clicking the show more or there may be a little drop down arrow. And if you click that, it will open up all of the description about the video and the products and things that I use. If you are watching on TV, you might not be able to access these. So if you just go to amazon.com slash shop slash Tam's Creative Corner, you'll find my most favorite items in there. If they're on Amazon, that is. And then I have little subcategories where you can go in and see all of the supplies I have listed. I'm using counterculture DIY art resin today and it's a one to one ratio. So I mixed half hardener, half resin. I combine it very well and then I'm ready to divide it into cups and put in my pigments. You'll notice that this small lowly Vefi craft mat round fits perfect on my Lazy Susan. And because resin doesn't stick to these lowly Vefi mats, I thought, why not use it for one of these sculptures? And I was honestly quite terrified that I was going to ruin my mat, but it actually worked perfect not only once, but twice. I'm using two different liquid pigments by Counterculture DIY and I'm keeping them pretty translucent. And then I'm going to go in with my May Spring Powder Pigment because I want a little bit of a pearlescent sheen too. And May Spring Pigments have that beautiful sheen. I made sure to turn the heat down on my heat gun because I wasn't sure if it would ruin my mat, so I was mostly just using it to blow the pigments around and blend them. And now I'm going to go ahead and mix up some Counterculture DIY's white snow pigment and add a little bit of that in there before I move on to my glitters and my crystals. And now I'm adding some crushed and tumbled recycled clear glass crystals around the edges. And this one's definitely an experiment and I hadn't tried this before. So I think the second sculpture turned out a lot better once I kind of got my feet wet. So stay tuned for that. And now I'm adding some of my favorite Glitz glitter. 
I let it set up for a couple of hours and then I added some more crystals to the outside and I also placed a quartz crystal that I had in the middle to create a base for the sculpture. And once I was sure that my resin wasn't going to continue dripping, I placed the whole mat up over one of my resin bottles and started molding and creating the shape of my sculpture. I just used a little bit of scotch tape to kind of hold my mat together and because I was slightly paranoid about this coming off of my mat I waited till it was touchable but still soft and then I removed the mat and it pulled out perfectly and then I tried to shape it a bit more and I kind of thought I can do this better so I let this one cure and I'm gonna start on a second one and look, the mat pulls right out and it's perfect and flat and ready to use again. This one didn't turn out quite how I had envisioned, but hey, that's the whole process and learning. So onward and upward, let's try this a second time. I let this one set for a couple hours and then I went ahead and laid the mat over my bottle and I wanted this one to be taller and skinnier and tighter in the middle so while it was still sticky I was able to mold it a lot more around my mat and I was still nervous because I made the folds tighter and I was still worried that it might not come off of my mat because I did have a lot of folds in there. And this time I just took one of my hair bands and wrapped it around the bottom to keep the whole thing cinched tight. And I let this one cure fully overnight. Said a little prayer and hoped that it would pop out the next morning. And my lowly Vevi mat did not disappoint for a second time. I was able to slide it right out of all of those creases and it popped right out, laid flat, and I'm still using it on my Lazy Susan. Kudos to you, Loli Vuffy. You've made an amazing product that is going to be used for a lot more than just protecting my surface. I decided I like this one a whole lot better. I love the shape and composition. It's really fun and sparkly, but I decided they both need a base so they can sit flat on a shelf. And so I just mixed up a little more resin. I tinted one of them with the same pigment and one I left clear. And then I poured it into these little round silicone coaster molds and placed my sculptures inside and propped them up so they wouldn't move around and let them cure overnight. I know that I move pretty fast in these videos. It's simply because I don't want them to be so, so long. And so, of course, if you have any questions, you can always feel free to leave them in the comments below the video. And I always try to get back to everyone and answer your questions. And they released from these silicone molds super easy and they now have a flat base on them so they can stand on their own.
They ended up being the perfect size for a little votive candle. Of course, that would be battery operated. You don't want any heat in these. And also these color changing lights were pretty cool. But I think I just liked them the most out on my shelf next to one of my husband's seascape paintings. But anyhow, I got what I wished for. I just wanted to have some fun and be free and play in the studio and try something different. And these are certainly different. <laughs> I don't know how many more I would make of these, but it was really fun sculpting them. And so I think I might think about some other sculpture ideas with resin. In the meantime, let me know what you think in the comments below and happy creating everyone.